it's National Moon Day. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was way back in 1969 when Neil Armstrong stepped out of moon service and said these famous words, and America and the world breathed a heavy sigh of relief. It's July 20th, the day that humans made it to the moon, and that means it's National Moon Day! The moon was formed billions of years ago when a Mars-sized object crashed into our planet, sending a cloud of vaporized rock into orbit around the Earth. Once the cloud cooled, it transformed into smaller chunks that combined together, creating the big rock we see on a clear night, the moon. To a special joint session of Congress in 1961, President Kennedy asked, I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. At the time of his proposal, the United States was still going head-to-head -head with the Soviet Union in space exploration. And since it was during the time of the Cold War, Congress loved Kennedy's idea. The first unmanned Apollo mission was invented by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, after five years of effort and hard work by their international team of engineers and scientists. This first mission served as a testing phase for the structural resistance of the launch vehicle. Did you know? It was way back in 1969 that the whole world witnessed Apollo 11 take off from the Kennedy Space Center with three astronauts on board, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Neil Armstrong. On July 20th, 1969, six hours after landing on the moon, Armstrong stepped out onto the lunar surface. He spent two and a half hours outside of the spacecraft. Buzz Aldrin soon followed and together they collected almost 50 pounds of moon rocks to bring back to Earth to analyze. In 1972, NASA shut down its Apollo program with one final manned landing, Apollo 17. This mission broke several crewed spaceflight records including the longest moon landing, the largest lunar sample return, almost 250 pounds, and the most lunar orbits with 75. In 2017, President Trump signed Space Policy Directive 1, which directed NASA to return to the moon with a crewed mission for long-term exploration and use and missions to other planets. The Artemis program will have the first female lunar astronaut and will feature new launch systems. In 2019, President Trump declared July 20th as the 50th anniversary observance of the Apollo 11 lunar landing. As of today, 24 U.S. astronauts have traveled to the moon. Three have made the trip twice, and only 12 have actually walked on its surface. National Moon Day doesn't just celebrate the landmark mission of landing on the moon. It also celebrates future missions like Branson and Bezos making private expeditions into space, the exploration of other planets, such as Mars and Venus. It also celebrates man's achievement to dream big and reach for the stars. Happy National Moon Day, everyone! Thank you for listening today. My name is Kevin. Welcome to my channel, Everything Kevin. If you like this video, please press like below. If you'd like to see more, please press subscribe. Take it easy, man.